Five years ago, I uploaded my first video to this YouTube channel, my RCX Code Pilot. This truck was the main build in the 8479 barcode multiset from 1997. The original model was controlled by scanning barcodes, hence the name of the set. It only came with one motor, but it could easily be swapped from controlling the arm and bed mechanisms to powering one of the rear axles. Steering was controlled by a hand of God wheel on top of the cab. For more information on the original set, I recommend Nonsense Wars Review, which is linked below. For a more detailed look at the gearing and mechanisms, I'd recommend checking out the Technicopedia website as well. This wasn't a set I owned at the time, I just pieced it together for my collection and some specialty parts ordered from Bricklink. I wanted the truck to be remotely controlled, so I used the Power Functions IR receiver to control the drive motor, as well as a Power Functions motor to control the steering. The steering was not self-centering, it was just kind of tacked on at the last minute. I had always intended to go back to this model with a better solution, I just didn't know how long it would take. Five years later, I took the model apart and realized how much I had cut corners to build it. The random colors for the hard to find flex cable pieces and mix of old and new gray were quite the eyesore. I decided to buy a complete set used on Bricklink as a starting point. This time, I built the model from the ground up to use a power function servo motor for steering. It fit perfectly in the structure of the chassis without a single stud of extra space. The steering wheel inside the cab even turns just like the original, although it does turn in the wrong direction due to limitations and space for additional gearing. The RCX is a perfect replacement for the barcode reader. Three inputs and three outputs sure beats only having one of each, and in the end I used all of them. The model uses a selector switch to control the arm and the bed with a single motor. When the bed is selected, a touch sensor buried deep inside of the model is pressed telling the RCX to run the motor to dump the bed. When the arm function is selected, the touch sensor inside the grabber tells the motor to run, which picks up an item and throws it into the back. I also added a rotation sensor to tell the RCX when to stop running the motor, instead of relying on a predetermined length of time. The Power Functions IR receiver is powered from two output ports on the RCX. This requires a custom adapter to work correctly. I plan to cover this topic in further detail in a future video. The finished model is a blast to drive around and pick things up. The arm mechanism is pure genius the way it uses a single driven axle to close the grabber and then lift the arm. It's certainly one reason this set has earned its place in LEGO history. I hope you enjoyed the video. If so, a like or comment is always appreciated. Thank you for watching, and remember to play well.